Why should he have to eat off a paper plate like some common citizen? Good morning! Happy Thursday. I actually left on time for work, but I have to get gas. So, I guess I'm not really leaving on time. I have 58 miles. I don't know how far work is. I think it's like 30 something miles round trip, which I'd be fine, but. You know me, I'm OCD and paranoid. I'm surprised I let it get that low. Usually when it gets to like a quarter of a tank, I get gas. It's cloudy and they said there's gonna be pop-up showers, which means they don't know when or where it's gonna rain today. They have no clue. So they're just like, it might rain. Ooh, the light's green. Go, go, go. This never happens, go. Yeah, I gave no crabs. I cut him off and went around him. They don't understand that that light's always red and when it's green, you gotta go. You're either with the plan or you're not with it. Can someone please tell me why gas is $9,000? A gallon expensive for here I think I'm gonna get $36 worth of gas 36 80 what did I say 35 but we got to get one more pump we got to get that extra until it clicks and then we get one more time 38.96. I think I'm off schedule from going away because I usually get gas on Sundays but I wasn't here on Sunday this guy's staring at me like, why are you holding a camera? And I'm like, why are you hanging out at the quick trip staring at people? This has been going on for like a week and it's really annoying me. My tire's freaking fine. So we got 30, 360 miles. Did I do it enough? Usually it goes to like 333. Three, three. Oh well. Hello, mi gente. I just got home from work. And I have two packages to open. One's from yesterday, one's from today. You know you buy too much stuff on the internet so when you don't even open your packages. It's not even exciting anymore. I was bad, and I got chips, and I got plates, because I'm fancy. I'm tired of feeding him with paper plates. I feel like I'm wasting a plate, even though I've been using the same plate for a couple of days. I just feel like it's so primitive and unclassy for this little pampered Pooch. Eat off paper plates. Like, might have an issue eating his food, but why should he have to eat off a paper plate like some common citizen? So I got these cheap ass plastic plates. They're two bucks for four. So that way we don't hurt the earth too much. Because, yeah, he eats too damn fast and he needs to slow down. So I'm gonna make dinner for me and for a bantleys. What do you want for dinner? I want I want wellness puppy with a side of rice. Thanks, mom. So we're twinning. I decided I wanted to use the new plate too. So that's my dinner, which I'm only gonna eat half of that and make the other half for lunch tomorrow. Public subs to die. And that's for the bantleys. I'm doing really exciting dog mom stuff. I am doing Bentley's treats for the next probably week. I found that for, we're doing obedience training, so I found that when I'm working with him for stuff like that, this is the Jack Pot. It's, it's actually dog food by a brand called Natural Balance, and it's all natural and hippie like. This one is chicken formula. He loves it. And they come in these rolls. These are like, tri I don't know, trial size rolls. They have like, this is like, I don't know how much it is. It's like two bucks and it's four ounces. They have them in like one and five pound rolls, but he's so small I don't, I don't need one that big. So <laughs> I cut them up into tiny, teeny, teeny, tiny little pieces. And then I usually break them in half and then I give it to him as a treat. This is the bag I have now. The only thing I don't like about them is they flake. And I'm not trying to be like, you know, like super cheap, but do you guys watch A Living Life? There's at least four more scoops in that bag because it's all powder. So <laughs> I think what I'm gonna do is save the powder and sprinkle it on top of his food. And he's just sitting so nice because he knows, he can smell it, he knows what I'm doing. So let's, let's make him work. 
You want some chicken roll? You gotta work, baby. You want some treats? You gotta work. You want some treats? You gotta work. Okay. What do you make him do? Come. He won't come, even when I bore him with food. Come. Come. Maybe I need to put the leash on him. Wait. Good boy. Can you lay down? Lay down, good boy. He doesn't know the word lay down yet, so I still have to get him into the lay down position. Wait. Okay. Good boy. That's actually I have his homework over here. We have a ton of work to do this week. Cause I mean, I paid up the wazoo to send him the private school, so you have to do homework. We're working on sit, he already knows sit, but I can't get him to sit on my left side in heel position. He just won't come to me. And then extended sit, he's actually good at extended sit. Side watch, he's good at. This is crazy, it's like four pages. Uh, distraction recall, heck no. Controlled walking, pretty good. Sit, bribed base, fine, watch. Continuous watch, come, yeah, that's all the homework he has. You know when you whine, you know what that gets you? You wanna know? Nada. Nada, me more. Cause, uh, yeah, this so needed to happen right now. I'm like compulsive. I think that's my fave. I looked at the nutrition facts and there's so much fat and sugar in it, it's not worth it. Just for iced coffee, I'll just brew regular over ice and add my own Splenda and my own like fat-free creamer. They're really, really good and they, they have a really strong flavor because they're made for iced coffee, but it's not worth it. If I could just find like their iced coffee plain, I would try to buy that. I should probably look that up. All right. I didn't change my life. Die without the snapples. The lemonade, don't care, and I'm not keeping up with my wind down nightly tea. I try, see, I told you I wasn't a tea person. Tomorrow, I'm going to try this one. It is an Italian roast by Barista Prima. I don't even know what Italian roast means. Some of them I find to be a little watery, and that could be because I'm making iced coffee all the time. So I'm still trying to get the right ratio and find the best brand that I like. I need to order one of the sampler packs. I just haven't done it yet. I don't know why I'm putting a glove on. There's no dishes to wash. Oh, I was just gonna clean the sink a little bit. I'm gonna call it a night because I'm wasting time. I haven't even showered yet. So what did I do? I finished Bentley's treats. I have my lunch for tomorrow. Hi, Bill Bush. I have my breakfast stuff ready for tomorrow to make my shake laid out. Coffee laid out for the morning. And then I was in here rearranging my plastic bag and foil and wrap section and condensing. And I really need to, um, how do you say, get a life. But I like my life neat, so I guess that's how I get life. And look what we did, y'all. He is so bad, I almost gave him pow pow. Empty. Everywhere. Joking, I did it, we were playing fetch. We were playing extreme fetch. And then he brought everything back, and then we started all over again the other side of the room, because we didn't go for a walk today, because I have a headache. But we can go on one tomorrow. We'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bentley Bear safe, good night to all your friends. Bye guys. Um. I'm going to play with this. I totally forgot I had it. It's at the bottom of the basket. Um, good night.